I'll show you how you can install and remove a drawer from these drawer slides. Many of them have very similar design. You'll see a bunch of a bunch of these bearing balls in it that slide on a uh, on a piece of sheet metal because they are all tied together there they all slide and glide together and that's important that uh, you start installation from this point that this is all the way out here usually the at the end of the drawer slide there's a pl plastic clip same on the other side too and it's also greased and lubricated you can see some of this yellow stuff Let's see, there, just wait for the camera for a sec. Mm, there we go. You can see that yellow lubricant in the track. And uh, so it's going to make your uh, hands dirty, so be prepared for that. If you're handling finished furniture, uh, you're going to have to be cleaning your fingertips all the time. How you can make this? neatly aligned because it's uh, it's important that this be that the two slides two sides be aligned and the drawer advance squarely not skewed so extend both of these extend this uh, uh, steel ball uh, assembly here all the way to the end and then hold the drawer somehow with, with your hand and it's resting against my knees that you can't see but uh, because you've got to see this portion here that they that they are lined up there on one side and I'm doing the same on the opposite side you just can't see it because the drawer is in the way but I'll show you how it looks like in a sec because the drawer now is just barely barely engaged with the barely held on with the with the drawer slide. However, the important part is that the that this be not bulldozing this steel ball assembly in front of itself because it's possible for the corner of that drawer slide to bend one of these tabs up and there's gonna be these steel balls all over the spilt on the floor. Okay? So when you're pushing the drawer in just make sure that this steel cage that the steel cage stays at the front here even if you have to put your finger through or your screwdriver through here make sure that this steel cage is not pushed in because this is lining up the rail on the drawer here actually and centering it on the rail on the gate that's mounted on the gable okay so without the without those balls in the steel cage intact it's not going to be centered it's not going to be bearing load and this one is empty practically and you just have to make sure that they mesh together all the way and then they check it extend it and the steel balls these uh the cage has to be moving here right right it is now so it's all the way out at the end here there it is there so we know that it's in here centering the drawer slide Center, yeah, there you go. that's nice on that side and removal is fairly straightforward removal is much less problematic You've got usually a lever like this on the side of the rail that's mounted on the drawer. And depending on which side of the drawer you're on, you may want to push this one down or pull it up. Depending on how it actually works, come to the other side. You can push it down or pull it up. On this model it doesn't matter and just ease it out. So you can see that this tab can be pushed down or pulled up but this particular detail varies from slide drawer slide to drawer slide so may not be the case with you and same on this side 
so it's apart and there now they're together same on the other side there installed and fully functional there you go so that's how you do this it's finicky take your time if the if the drawer is long you might need two people to hold the drawer in place to make sure that it's properly aligned take your time